Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss some more problems, some more complex problems on conflict serializability and view serializability. We are going to take some more tabular examples and we are going to clarify the concepts to a greater detail. Uh, let's start with the first example. So I've been given with a schedule. Let's uh, label it as a schedule S1. Wherein we have three transactions over here working concurrently. So I'll just start with the uh, conflict serializability concept. Let's say I need to solve this question. I need to check whether it is conflict serializable or not. So uh, essentially that method of swapping the conflict orders basically takes time. So therefore came the concept of a shortcut method which was precedence graph method which we have already discussed in various uh, videos already posted in the channel. So we are just going to start with the precedence graph method directly. So in that what we need to do is we need to plot first of all the transactions as the nodes. Since we have three, three transactions over here T1, T2, T3, we will mark three nodes T1, T2, T3. And next what I am going to do, I am going to mark the conflict pairs as the edges. So if I see the conflict pairs from this schedule, I know that this is a conflict pair because it is a read write and that too happening in two different transactions. Then there is another conflict pair over here and is there any other conflict pair? Yes, there is another conflict pair over here. Right. So we basically have three conflict pairs and we are going to mark them. How do we mark them? First of all, let's start with this. So the order will be from T2 to T1 because T2, this read A is happening before this write A. So T2 to T1. I have labeled it with the same operation. Then the next one is, let's say this, because next operation is RB. So this is happening from T3 to T2. So T3 to T2. Right, labeled with the same operation. And then finally this one which is happening from T2 to T3. T2 to T3. Right. So now if I analyze, now since there is no other conflict pair over here, our precedence graph is complete. Now if we analyze this precedence graph, we know that there is a loop being formed over here, right? Because this is a cycle. I'm starting from T3, I'm ending on T3. If I start from T2, I'll end on T2. Right. So this is a cycle. That means a cycle uh, predicted over here means this is a non-serializable schedule. So we are straight away done with this solution. Now just imagine if I would have tried directly the view serializability over here, the things would have been very complex, right? Because uh, I would have to plot first of all the three types of operations which is initial read, update and final update and then analyze the three sequences corresponding to the three data items a b c we'll also take up that problem in the next video that how do we solve this the same thing with view serializability method and we'll see what the challenges could be but for now i would suggest that first of all you just whenever you get some question to check for serializability First of all, just try with the precedence graph method and then move on to view serializability. We already know that view serializability should only be checked if the test of conflict serializability fails. If a schedule comes out to be serializable with conflict serializable method, that means it is serializable and it will be serializable by, by view serializability method also. Right. So let's start with the next example for the same concept of conflict serializability. Let's say this time I have this question. So what I've done is, I've just moved this WC from this transaction T3 to over here in T1. <clears throat> now, in this case, if I plot uh, the operations, what will happen is, this edge will actually be changed. The rest would remain same. So let's just check this edge only. So it will be from... T2 to T1, right? So I'll mark it from T2 to T1. So now that we have our precedence graph over here, let's just analyze it since if I analyze it, I know that there is no cycle being formed. See, this is not a cycle. Why? Because both the edges are in the same direction. We are going from T2 to T1. We are not coming back. We are not landing on the same point, right? 
so therefore this is not a cycle and so and now since this is not a cycle this is not a loop that means this is a serializable schedule so now we have the serializable serializable schedule and how do we find the order first of all we check for the node with n degree 0 so let's just label the nodes with their degrees this node has n degree 0 and out degree as 1 right because it has one edge moving outward this node has in degree 1 and out degree 2 this node has in degree 2 and out degree 0 so I'll be starting with this node t3 that means so I'll just uh, write down the order as t3 then I'll remove this node t3 and all the edges moving out from it the next node within degree 0 would become this t2 right so the next transaction will be t2 and finally we'll only be left with t1 so the order is t3 t2 and t1 so that's all for this question in the next video we'll be moving on to some more examples of view serializability for both these two cases discussed in this video so Please follow me in the next video and in case you have any doubts with the questions discussed in this session or with some other questions related to databases, you can always uh, write them down in the comment section below. In case you like the video, please like it and please keep following the channel for more upcoming videos and good work coming up. Thank you.